Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. I'm pretty stoked today because I was able to stop by TRP. We happen to be in Salt Lake or Ogden area, and uh, they're located out of there. We were doing some filming in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. Uh, when I originally decided to do the build on this bike, I thought, you know, I'll go with the Shimano Durace 9000 brakes, and then um, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and he goes, why don't you use the TRP brakes like you did on your S-Works? I thought, you know what, why don't I? So I actually called Dave and did a little research on the brake to find out which one would be great for the build. And he kind of walked me through the differences in this brake versus some other brakes out there. So I thought, you know what, instead of me relaying that message to you, come straight to the horse's mouth and let him do it. So yeah. if you can walk us through this brake, that would be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So okay. what we have here is the uh, R979EQ uh, dual pivot caliper road brake. Uh, let's start off with uh, some of the features that make it stand out uh, from the rest of the other brakes on the market. So for one, we, we make it out of magnesium. So the construction is brake, full magnesium, forged, then CNC to remove as much weight as we can, then curonite coated to prevent any oxidation and painted in uh, a couple different colors. We got the white and the red, and this happens to be the most popular, the matte black with the gloss black finish. Uh, from there, we go to the, the model, the 979. So that's uh, got the newest leverage ratio designed for most of the modern levers out there nowadays. Can still be used with the ceramic and the campy, uh, but definitely fits the, uh, the 9000 series brakes very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, and the EQ feature, that's the uh, cam style quick release, lets you open and close the brake uh, for, for rim clearance or for wheel changes or if you're sprinting out of saddle or climbing out of saddle with new carbon rims and carbon frames, things tend to flex a little bit more. So that was actually a, a racer's request from some of our teams, they wanted that reach back and flick little feature. Uh, from there, we got you know kind of CNC'd out pads. Uh, the pad holders are uh, compatible with any Shimano pads. So these brakes, when you buy them, they come with uh, carbon pads and alloy pads. But if you like uh, cool stops or Swiss stops, you're running your ice NV wheels. They come with NV pads. You can slide those right in there. No problems. No proprietary pads on that. Um, then to even trick this thing out and er even more. Everything on it is titanium. So the, the pad holder bolts, the cable anchor bolt, actually the cable anchor bolt pin is aluminum, make that even lighter, and both of the main pivot bolts are titanium. So that brings that brake into 130 grams per wheel brake, which is, I don't know the exact grams, but quite a bit lighter than that Dura Ace one. And with its dual pivot design, no need for cutting housing at crazy lengths to make it specific, set it up just like a Shimano, super easy setup, super easy maintenance, uh, and then the stiffness of that, uh, that big, brake arm, nice and thick, everything's nice and stiff, uh, gives you plenty, plenty of power. So, yeah, they were amazing when we did the installation on it, went really smooth, everything went great. I'm so. sure once you get out on some rides, you'll be yeah. able to tell yeah. there's plenty of power there. I got them on my own, yeah. and uh, yeah, I can't complain at all about awesome. the power. Awesome. Well, thanks for doing a quick segment with hey, us. Hey, absolutely. Man. Appreciate you, you know, kind of walking through this break. If you guys have any questions at all, where should they go to take a look at all the brakes? TRP.com? Uh, TRPbrakes.com, TRP and TRP if there are any questions, feel free to... Uh, Hit us up on the email at info at trpbreaks.com or give us a ring. The number's on the website. Awesome. And if you have any other comments, make sure you make them below. We'll make sure this video gets over to TRP also so that they can uh, see the video on YouTube. They can get back to you on there and become part of the community. So if you're not out there, get out there and have fun and keep cycling strong. We'll talk to you soon.